Back now with our series AI Revolution and in focus tonight, jobs, how they're performed, how they're changing and the potential risks that AI poses to them. To find out, Jake Ward went to the nation's largest private employer. Once upon a time, Jose Avila had had an incredible memory. Started, were you supposed to have memorized where everything is? Uh, yes. And great shoes. So I would have to actually take them to the items that they needed, so from one end to the store to the other. But today, an AI-powered app shows where everything is and needs to go. It's making my job much easier. Walmart is already a cost-cutting machine, and yet the company wants to be even more streamlined. Sanjay Radhakrishnan is in charge of making that happen. How can you possibly grow more efficient than you currently are? Jacob, that's where I think technology will pl uh, play a key enabling role. We are transforming our supply chain and our store operations. And as we saw in this California superstore, AI is how they plan to do it. When trucks arrive to be offloaded, AI has already organized the pallets inside. It looks disorganized to me. But if I understand correctly, AI is telling you through the phone where everything is and where it should go. Yes, we'll have to open up our camera right. and hold up our work device, and then it's gonna tell us what boxes need to go out. Sensors in every aisle spot things as small as a freezer door left open. And AI even organizes the shelves. And then we can learn and say, okay, did two facings of this do better than maybe putting another brand in there oh, or wow. another flavor in there, right? Walmart is the nation's largest private employer. And what they decide to do when it comes to efficiency sets national standards. So when they decide to adopt AI, it has implications for the whole country. And that, of course, raises a crucial question for workers. Does AI, do you think, forecast a world in which you won't need as many humans in this store? We view technology as helping our associates to evolve physically demanding jobs into more fulfilling, higher skilled job roles. So over time, we believe that we'll be about the same or more number of associates in the company. As a retail worker, can I sort of relax about my job in the future, do you think? No, I, uh, I don't think that you can. Experts say the number of jobs may remain the same, but people without the right skills won't get them. There are increasing uh, frictions in the workplace such that it is harder for workers to transition from one job to a new job. Avila, the store lead, says workers here are happier in the age of AI. Our headcount and our turnover is much better from two years ago. Mm. Yeah, oh. much better. Now we'll see how working in a world of low prices and high efficiency compares to shopping in one. Jake Ward, NBC News, Gilroy, California. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.